Obi-Wan Kenobi. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Please be my final guest of the series. Why have you got two Danish pastries on your head? Shh! They're my hair. Let's do the show! <laughs> show, last show. I'm going on my holidays next week. Yeah, off to Greece. Oh, <laughs> looking forward to strolling among the ruins. <laughs> oh, there they are making more. <laughs> Greece, not in a good way. Not in a good way. 2,000 years ago, they gave us the Acropolis, the Elgin Marbles. Now, all they're giving us this. <laughs> of the series, and we've got a bit of a lad's night for you. Uh, train spotting star and Jedi Knight, Ewan McGregor, is here. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, lucky, lucky. From the IT crowd and Hitty's own bridesmaids, Chris O'Dowd is here. <laughs> you seen it? Very funny, very good. And later we'll be hearing the number one song from Example, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. And he'll be chatting to us. Uh, very excited to be meeting Ewan McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Ewan was in three of the Star Wars films as the young Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, the Star Wars characters. So influential. You know, a lot of famous people modelled their styles on them. Yeah. Cheryl Cole uh, was influenced <laughs> by Princess Leia. Uh, the Queen on Yoda models herself, she does. <laughs> And, uh, Celine Dion. I'm sure I've seen her in Star Wars. I guess I have. <laughs> uh, Ewan has a new film out called Beginners. Beginners, yeah. It's all about a man who comes out as gay at the age of 75. <laughs> Come on. Don't get me in trouble now at the end of the series. I don't want Cliff's lawyers on the phone. He's not 75. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Cliff, I can only apologize. <laughs> and look forward to meeting Chris O'Dowd, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Star of The Boat That Rock, The IT Crowd, and he's now appearing in the new comedy film Bridesmaids. Uh, I don't know, have many of you have seen it? Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. Even I paid to go and see it. I did. Uh, but of course, being a bridesmaid is a responsible job. Three key things to remember. You mustn't upstage the bride with your arse. <laughs> you mustn't try and get off with the best man. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't dare the bride to do something rude on her wedding day. Don't. <laughs> Let's get some yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen! This is Justin Bieber was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Settle yourself, ladies. Uh -huh. uh, now, you look both very smart, but uh, Chris, you just came back. Was it Glastonbury you went? Uh, yeah, I did, I did Glastow this weekend. <laughs> did you do it properly? Did you... Oh, yeah, we tented it. Tented up by the toilets. <laughs> thinking, well, that's easy access to the toilets. <laughs> and you realise your tent is everybody else's toilet. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Beyonce, who is or is not backstage right now, <laughs> is not uh, being not. offered a word. <laughs> <laughs> also, Pope Benedict may or may not. That's such a cruel game. I'm just like. <laughs> She just insists on coming everywhere with me now. <laughs> Have you done festivals? You must I've done a long time. I've done festivals for a long time. 
Now and again, I think I'll go when I'm about 50. You see, the, you see them, don't you? In the, in, in the crowd, you see the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the divorcees, you know? <laughs> I'm going now! <laughs> and they're 50, they're on a knee, and they're like, that. they don't know quite what. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, they don't know quite what. <laughs> what's what's now what? You, now you've spilt your tea. No. <laughs> Yes, I'll be there drinking my tea when I'm at 50. Yeah. I thought I was going to have a real celebi moment. Uh, we went um, to watch Plan B, and I like a bit of Plan B, you know. And I went backstage and I kind of saw him just before he went on, and we kind of had that eye contact thing, and he kind of did a little nod, and I thought, oh, God, he knows who I am. I was just so impressed and amazed that maybe he knows... And he did this... Come here. So I kind of waddled over, pretty drunk, and I said, hey, how's it going, man? And he said, can I get a water? Did you get one? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought, we, OK, we don't have the connection I thought maybe we had, but he still needs me. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, tonight, tonight we've got uh, two, I'm so happy, two great films to talk about. Couldn't be more different, I mean, very different films. Uh, Bridesmaids, huge hit comedy, number one all over the world. At the it's moment. doing well, it's yeah, doing well, it's, it's right. exciting times. It is. And Beginners, your movie, it's out on July uh, the 22nd. I think. Yes, not yeah. out yet. No, not out yet. No. Film doing incredibly well. Film nobody's ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> they will now, we're telling them about it. Because yeah, it, exactly. I've, no, yeah. I've watched it. It is... A really lovely film, yeah. and it's a really kind of personal film yes. and quirky. I, I feel stupid. It was on when I was reading about it afterwards that it's a true story. Yes, it's my, Mike Mills um, directed his first film, Thumbsucker, about six or seven years ago. Love that it's film. a film I really like. Yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. He's got a real vision. He's an artist, Mike Mills. He's a graphic artist. He did um, the Beastie Boys album covers and Ayers album covers, and he uh, he's a really interesting. Man and, and an artist, and his filmmaking is like an extension of his art, if you like. And so it's a beautiful, se personal, sensitive telling of his story, his story of his father. His, his mother died, and um, three or four years after that, his father came out to, to Mike and, and, and said that he was gay. He was 75 years old at the time, and, um, and started living his life, you know, his real true life, as a gay man, he, he went on a real gay bender and he joined every gay club. He was a member of gay book clubs and gay movie clubs and everything in the house had rainbows on it. And he just <laughs> felt he was fully alive and happy. So um, it's, it's the telling of that story. It's a fantastic story. premise for a film. It's, it's his... I'm going to go see that. Yeah, no, good. it is. And, it, and the way it's made is, is really interesting. It's and... very beautiful. Yeah. It, there's two stories. There's father and son story, me and Christopher Plummer. And then there's a love story. Um, my character Oliver meets and falls in love with a French actress played by Melanie Laurent, who was in um, *Inglorious Bastards*. Brilliant actress. Well, listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is Christopher Plummer uh, as the dad. Uh, Here we go. Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry I woke you. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Akbar tonight. You did? Yeah. No, they had some wonderfully loud music. <laughs> What kind of music's that? Probably house music. Yeah. House music. <laughs> okay. House. House music. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fantastic. He really is fantastic drummer. He's such a lovely, lovely man. He's a real. He's from a. He's you know he was. He tells stories about acting actor stories from like Hollywood in the 60s and the people he was knocking about with then and and uh, but he's incredibly um modern when you're acting